California surfer came face to face with a shark and he lived to tell the tale. Haley Winslow explains what saved the man's life. When that thing hit me from below, I knew right away that that was that was a shark. The bite mark nearly a foot in diameter. I, I feel like that's about as lucky as you possibly can be, you know, as a as someone who, who surfs a lot and spends a lot of time in the water. You always know that's a possibility, but um, there's there's people out there who have been seriously injured by sharks, and I'm so lucky that it only got my board. It's Sunday at sunset, 7.45 p.m. on T Street in San Clemente, and 25-year-old Evan Garcia is looking to catch one last wave. All of a sudden, bam! There was no doubt in my mind. The way that it hit the board from below, it, 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 was, it was coming for me, for sure. Captured on a surfline cam, Garcia knocked off his seven-foot surfboard. Now even more vulnerable, he opens his eyes underwater to meet his match. It was strong enough to knock me completely into the water, so probably about four to six foot juvenile shark. White shark. Probably. I mean, those are the ones that there are sighted on our coast all the time. A Dana Point local surfing SoCal for four years, he's had a lot of time to think about this very moment. Now he's jet set to a much needed, albeit planned, vacation, a surf trip where he's surely jumping back in the ocean. Tell the sharks in Hawaii that you're off limits. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had my run in with you guys now, sharks. I'm, I'm okay. No more for me, please. <laughs> that surfboard, are you going to frame it, stick yeah. it on the wall? Yeah, I, I think I got to say thank you to my mom and to Terry Senate because my mom bought me that board um, maybe like three years ago, and I've surfed with that board in Mexico. I've surfed with that board all up and down the coast, but he made that board strong, and that board saved my life. So I'm very glad. I'm very glad that I have that. And yeah, it'll go on the wall. I'm not going to get rid of that. It's an experience he's actually grateful for. And coupled with the science knowledge he's learning as a UCI grad student, Garcia hopes to do good. I think the luck there is, you know, is just to continue to give back and, and continue to do the right thing in this world. And, and hopefully that means that I'm, I'm meant to do something, something with that luck, right? There's a reason I'm standing here.